Okay, I'm in the building. Hey, Monday afternoon, how you guys feeling? This is the Star Report. A research Monday to be uh, exact and precise. Okay, okay, thank you for uh, tuning in, logging on, and stopping by. Um, as you can see on the screen, my research, my primary research this afternoon is with regards to Tiffany Haddish, comedian, actress, um, and I want to find out why there's so much hate. I spent yesterday watching some of her films. Uh, as a man of a certain age, 54 years of age, I tend to give younger people, you know, uh, uh, a chance coming out of the gate. And she's not that young. She's 38. I don't say that to be disrespectful, but, uh, you know, she's, um, she's getting it in. I watched um, Girls Trip yesterday, uh, the film. She played the character of Dina. I also watched part of, um, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. I also watched the entire film Night School uh, with her and uh, Kevin Hart, where she played the character Carrie. And then I watched half of a film called Nobody's Fool, where she played a character called Tanya. I didn't finish watching Nobody's Fool. It was just a little too much, you know, jail, hood, yeah, I'm, I just came home, yaddy. Not that that's a bad thing. I just want to sit through it. You, you know what I mean? I had already watched two of her films, and I want to, you know, talk to you folks and get your opinion while I do my research. Now, um, 38 years of age. Let me just go back for a second. Uh, born in 1979. And she's been doing comedy, stand-up comedy, for quite some time. This is the woman, in case you don't know, who Cat Williams took some shots at when he was on V103 with Frank Ski and Wanda in the morning. And um, she has since gone on The Breakfast Club to respond, along with Kevin Hart. I didn't see that interview. I'm, I'm not a Breakfast Club watcher. Um, and I just want to say, you know, People are throwing words around, and I don't want to, you know, repeat some of those words as if I'm co-signing what they're saying. They're throwing words around like, you know, coon and other things. And I just want to say, before we really start doing some research here, or I start doing some, some research, you know, white people coon too. What is cooning? Cooning is the exploitation of stereotypes. White people do it too. Don't get it fucked up. And uh, with regards to the film Girls Trip, uh, Queen Latifah was in that film, um, Jada Pinkett Smith, and what was the other, the other girl's name? Uh, I forget her name. Um, let me see if I can find her. Maybe, yeah, it's not even that important. Uh, the film itself, um, it worked. It worked. And Tiffany Haddish got a lot of uh, uh, awards and award nominations. Let me just give you some of the awards uh, for Girls Trip. Came out in 2017. Uh, African American Film Critics Association Award for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, Black Reel Award for Best Supporting Actress. MTV Award for Best uh, Comedic Performance. NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture. Okay. NAACP Award. American Black Film Festival Rising Icon Award and about seven or eight other awards and nominations. Now, even though it's not my type of film, I chuckled a little bit here and there. You know, ha ha he he. I'm not going to dump on it. Um, there's a part in the film where you see um, Jada Pinkett Smith and Tiffany Haddish. They're on some type of wire. They're down in Bourbon Street and they start <laughs> urinating all over the goddamn crowd. <laughs> Now, I said, ah, you know, I just, was that cooning to the upteenth degree? Probably so, but hang on a second. I want to be fair and objective. You know me, I'm the objective hater, not subjective, objective. Now, I immediately thought about um, the film Jackass. Let me look in the live chat, and folks, I will be taking some super chat questions if you want to join the conversation with regards to my research, because that's what this is. I'm doing research this afternoon, as you may or may not know. Um, I immediately thought about the film Jackass. I don't remember which which film it was, but Johnny, uh, 
what was his name? Johnny, Johnny Knox, um, Steve O, and some other guys. One of those jackass films, they were shitting on camera, playing with shit. I mean, shit, excrement. And I said, whoa, I'm not going to sit here and watch white boys shitting on camera. And, and matter of fact, I didn't see that in the movie theater either. I think I saw that uh, one of those, was it Jackass 3? Can somebody help me out? It's not that deep. But anyway, the, the point I'm trying to make is I wasn't hating on Jada Pinkett Smith and Tiffany Haddish for this scene in, in the film Girls Trip, you know, pissing all over the crowd. Yeah, these white boys up in that film jackass were shitting on camera. And I said, I'm not watching this dumb shit. So anyway, but now I want to fast forward to the reason why my topic this afternoon is really even focused on Tiffany Haddish. Why so much hate for her? Um, Dr. Boyce Watkins. I don't want to dump on the guy. I just, I just don't fuck with him. It's because he's a chatty patty. He does too much for me. I mean, I, I've went through this. Uh, you know, before, not that it's that deep, because it's not, but, you know, the way he was coming at um, Dr. Umar Johnson once upon a time, he made some long hour video. Hey, here's why I'm done with Umar Johnson. I said, damn, nigga, couldn't you have just given him a call? Anyway, um, Boyce Watkins, he put up a tweet. It's, it's, my, uh, it's my black phone. Give me a second. Um... Boyce Watkins put up a tweet on November the 13th, for those of you who follow Boyce Watkins. And it says, and I quote, Tiffany Haddish is exactly what white supremacists want to see. She would have been the most famous slave on the plantation. A lot of retweets. A lot of people liked it. Actually, to, well, to date, 2,700 people liked his tweet now i'm just asking you guys i'm not coming at T tiffany haddish i also want to put someone else's name on the table here because you know i like to you know as you you know uh give props where props are due when i do research when i do my show i always have given respect to other people that you know i think could quite possibly you know uh, uh pop off or maybe they are maybe they have popped off her name is um Vicki Dillard. Vicki Dillard. And she's from a website called, um, is it Black Nubian Queen? Give me a second. FlyNubianQueen.com. FlyNubianQueen.com. All right. Vicki Dillard. I'm going to come back to her shortly. But this tweet that Dr. Boyce Watkins put out, I don't know if it bothered me because I don't support tribalism. But I looked at it and said, wow, here's a man who's on the front lines for, you know, uh, black business, black unification, the promotion of the black experience, trying to get people to do better by way of black economics, finance, and wealth. Why would he come at this female the way he did? Now, I don't know his full background. I just, I don't give a shit enough. But I think, if I remember correctly, he's got a daughter. And I say that respectfully. Let me look in the live chat and see if I'm on course so far. Good afternoon in the live chat. Lumo the Great was popping, homie. I see you. Okay. Uh, someone says Star only cares about himself and his mother. Yes, sir. You're right. I'm, I'm an objectivist. You know that. I'm selfish. But that has nothing to do with what Boyce Watkins said. Uh, if you yourself support tribalism, what do you feel? How, do you care that Boyce Watkins, a man that is for, you know, the promotion of, of, of black unification, took a shot at probably the most um, influential black female slash actress at this point in time? Sir, do you care? I mean, I'm going to do what I do regardless. Uh, but I am going to question his motives, his intention. Uh, who else is in that live chat? Uh, good afternoon, Skylar Saunders. Hello, sir. How are you? Master of, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Channel of Nate, pardon me. Johnny Too Cool was popping, sir. Good afternoon. 
Okay, people are saying, yeah, she fits every uh, stereotype. Okay. Well, you know, we're talking about Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood is about films and numbers, you know? If you don't put up the numbers, you're not a factor. So now, can black people or people of color, because I don't like to use the term black unless, you know, people, certain people identify themselves as black first. Anyway, can people of color really take shots at Tiffany Haddish as if she owes them something? I'll get to the speech that she made um, at one of the award shows or if someone wants to send in a super chat, it was one of the award shows where she said, no, I can't help you with that. She was talking to one of the uh, uh, reporters slash journalist, and she said, I can't help you with certain things by way of politics or social, you know, injustice. Anyway, let me get back to Dr. Boyce Watkins, and, uh, and I see Bob the cop on the line. Bob, sit tight, I got you. So I saw Dr. Boyce Watkins put up this tweet. Now, let's take it off the table that I don't fuck with him like that. And if I have to tell you the reason why, it's because I thought that Yvette uh, um, um, Carnell, is that her name? Let me just make sure. Again, this is research, folks. This is not, you know, a quote-unquote show. Let me just make sure I got her name right. Yvette Carnell pulled Dr. Boyce Watkins' skirt up. <laughs> that was an exposing. And when I did my own research after she, you know, pulled out the cannon on that nigga, you know, chatty patty that he is, I said, damn, you know. So anyway, um, why do black people feel the need to hate on this, this female, Tiffany Haddish? Let me just put something else on the table before I go to a couple of super chats. And then I also want to uh, go into the live chat. You know, Richard Pryor, when it was all said and done was probably one of the greatest ever, if not the greatest comedian to ever come out of the black experience and, and Hollywood. I would say prior over Dick Gregory because Dick Gregory, was, although he was a comedian and a social activist, he never really popped off on the big screen. But here's my point. Here's my point. You know, Richard Pryor made some films that were considered to be coonish films. He made a film called, I think it was Adios Amigos. And he apologized doing stand-up comedy uh, for that film. He said, listen, y'all got to excuse me for adios amigos. So I'm, I'm taking the long way around here with regards to Tiffany Haddish doing what needs to be done in Hollywood. And maybe she's doing some things by way of, you know, uh, charities and other things that, you know, are not being promoted as much as the hate towards her. Okay. And hang on a second. I, I want to lay all of this out. There, there, there's a lot that I took in yesterday. Speaking of brother, sister, hotep. And you see, this is why I'm the objective hater. I don't necessarily have to dump on one and then dump on the other. Um, Vicki Dillard, she's a, from what I gathered, a media personality. She's on a, a website right now, popping, called uh, flynubianqueen.com. I like her approach with regards to critiquing Tiffany Haddish. She critiqued her in a very classy way. And yes, she's talking that brother, sister, hotep stuff, free the land. But I appreciate her classy approach. I thought that Boyce Watkins, again, a man of a certain age, should not be taking a dump on a younger female, black female, in that fashion. But, you know, she did a very, very classy critique of Tiffany Haddish, and it wasn't so much um, about Tiffany Haddish's film work. She was talking about Tiffany Haddish eating at the Waffle House. Now, I'm still doing research. That's what today's show is about. Did Tiffany Haddish do a commercial for the Waffle House, or was she just eating in the Waffle House when uh, people are, you know, uh, hang on a second. When people are protesting or doing something with regards to uh, this woman here, again, Chakizia. 
Hold on, let me get her name right. Let me get her name right. Clemens, yeah. <laughs> and folks, feel free to tell me, Star, <laughs> we're going to rally behind Chiquizia Clemens and knock it the fuck off. Please feel free to tell me that because, again, I saw the video footage as many of you did. You know, just loud, rambunctious, unruly. Three o'clock in the morning up in the Waffle House. Hell no. Nah. Can't co-sign no shit like that. Many of you have heard me say before, any woman who's out past 12 midnight, I can't co-sign that. Nothing good comes to uh, females being out after 12 midnight. I've had a few girlfriends, you know, call me two o'clock in the morning. Hey, somebody just slapped me in my mouth. <laughs> well, where are you, bitch? I'm down here in front of the club. Click. Not me. You, you won't see me running down to no club with the motherfucking blammer. Trying to defend the honor of a bitch, out, you know, out after 12 uh, midnight. Anyway, um, guys, I'm coming to Super Chat. Bear with me. I want to finish putting a little respect on this woman's name, uh, Vicky Dillard. And if those of you, you know, you, 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 you've watched her, she's, uh, and, and I say this respectfully, she's on the come up. And I liked her classy approach of going at, not after, going at Tiffany Haddish. So now, I, I guess my, my point here is, is there... Well, there, there, there's a groundswell. Let's not get it fucked up. Is there more than a groundswell right now directed towards Tiffany Haddish? Let me look in the live chat and see what's popping. See what they're saying in there. Okay, they're, they're, they're just trolling and hating. Thank you so much. Katrina, hey, darling. She says maybe she worked late. Yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, possibly. You're talking about uh, Chiquizia Clemens. And maybe she did work late, you know. But we're talking about, you know, or I'm talking about. Here's what I'm talking about. Either way, you're up in the goddamn Waffle House talking about, yeah, I'm going to come back and shoot this place up. And if you saw the video, um, young lady, and I, I think that you did. I hope that you did. You can see her friend smiling and laughing as this woman is standing there in the goddamn uh, Waffle House barking, you know. <laughs> it was all fun and games until until the police came. Then she's kicking and tussling. Bitch, put your hands behind your back. How many times do we tell young people, young people of color, when the police come, just put your hands behind your back and deal with the shit at a later point in time? Drew 8 Philly, good afternoon, sir. Star, keep it real. You just want to suck the sweat out of Tiffany Haddish's uh, toes. Give her a break. She was homeless before her fame. Okay. Uh, sir, in case you haven't noticed, I'm actually giving, uh, giving Tiffany Haddish a chance. I've seen her do some stand-up. I didn't think it was like, you know, Funny, funny, funny. I, I thought it was cool. I'm not going to dump on her, but um, I'm giving her a chance, man. What Was she homeless? I don't know. That's what I'm doing today. I'm doing research in front of you. Was she married to a white guy? Who divorced who? Please educate me. Anyway, um, so let me get back to uh, Vicki Dillard who I enjoyed watching her commentary. She also went in on Roland Martin. Whoo! I think I'll get to that another day. <laughs> but um, my point with regards to even bringing this young woman's name into the mix, Vicki Dillard, she's been to the penitentiary. I think she did four years. Fed time, if I'm wrong, correct me. But in terms of her commentary, she was classy. She did not have to dump on Tiffany Haddish and call her all sorts of names. I didn't hear her call Tiffany Haddish a coon. 
which you know, which is something that people so easily do. And again, uh, with, with Boyce Watkins, he made reference to her. Uh, she would have been the most famous slave on the plantation. You know, we have social media now, so people can instantaneously kick up some dust and come at someone's neck and shit on them. And as I said earlier, if social media were around in the days of Richard Pryor, you know, he did those films with, um, what was that, The Toy? With Gene Wilder? And those films were, com uh, you know, commercial successes. But that wasn't the Richard Pryor that, you know, many of us knew from uh, when he was in the Mac and other films, you know? And again, that film he did called Adios Amigos. If social media were around back then, people would have destroyed him, coon-ass nigga. Let me look in the live chat and see what's popping in there. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Was it Stir Crazy? Yeah, Stir Crazy. Yeah, and he was also in a film called The Toy, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check because, again, this is just research... Um, it was a film called The Toy. Yeah, The Toy, 1982 with Richard Pryor. He played an unemployed journalist. And, you know, that would have been cooning. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it was a big fucking box office smash. Let me also say with regards to uh, Vicky Dillard. Now, this is going too far back, I'm sure, for a lot of you babies. The reason why I was watching so many of her, her videos yesterday is because she, she's, she's fine now. She's a fine, fine thing. She reminds me of uh, Barry White's uh, wife from back in the days, Glow Dean. Let me look in that live chat and see who knows what I'm talking about. Let me, let me see who's uh, you know, from my generation. Glow Dean White. Google that one. Walking in the rain with the one I love, feel so fine. Oh, she's still alive, too. And she had them long, pretty fingernails. V. Clark was popping, I see you. Okay, yeah. He knows. Ah, Curtis Anderson. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, Love Unlimited. Taryn Herring, there you go. Hang on a second, that, that's the, the police. That was a police line. <laughs> yeah, Glow Dean. That, that's who this uh, woman reminds me of. Vicki Dillard. If you watch her, just, I mean, not, not that she probably won't fuck with me because, you know, a lot of people are like, I don't fuck with him. He got a white mama. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, she put the work in, you know? And, again, classy, classy with regards to getting that um, Tiffany Haddish. That's all I'm going to say. I, th I think we're done with the whole Tiffany Haddish thing. I just I had to do that research and find out why Boyce Watkins and other people are just coming out of her neck and calling her a coon, yada, yada, yada. No, Hollywood is about cooning. Anybody who really gets up that motherfucking ladder in Hollywood, you have to coon. <laughs> how, how many black men have, have made it big in Hollywood and then at some point in time they put on a dress and a fucking wig and some makeup? Did Denzel Washington ever put on a dress and a wig? Wesley did. Wesley Snipes did. Yes, he did. Uh, did okay, uh, Dave Chappelle. Did Dave put on a dress and a wig? Mm, yeah, somebody said uh, Will Smith got plowed. Yeah, I, didn't Will Smith either have sex with a white boy on camera or, or get plowed? What was that? Seven Degrees of... What was that film? Hold on. Separation something. Hey, there's my homie, uh, MC Search from Third Base on Vlad TV again. This video that dropped today is called MC Search on being name dropped in Jay-Z's takeover diss to Nas. Okay. You know, Search is my guy. We've been cool for a lot of years. A lot of years. 
<laughs> but Eric B is my guy too. Don't don't, don't get it fucked up. <laughs> And I'm not going to go into the whole thing right now, but you know, me and Eric B were chopping it up the other day. <laughs> yo, yo. And let me just say, you know, Search is, he he's out of line for even trying to tell a story about trying to write a rhyme back in the days for Rock Kim. Come on, homie. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do no crazy shit like that again, please. <laughs> I'll fuck with your Search, but come on, man, knock that shit the fuck off. <laughs> All right, what else is going on here? Um, by way of research that I need to be up on. 